A meeting of parliamentary minds taking place tonight at the office of the Prime Minister. And behind it, the Davis administration's reported plan to debate the long-awaited cannabis legislation when proceedings in the House of Assembly resumes on Monday. Lloyd Allen has been posted outside the office of the Prime Minister for most of the evening. He joins us live with this update. Good evening, Lloyd. Now, Makusha, tonight we understand that government legislators are wrapping up talks here at the office of the Prime Minister. Those talks coming ahead of what is expected to be the start of debate on the controversial yet anticipated cannabis bill in the House of Assembly early next week. Now, the compendium of bills is expected to cover the handling of, as well as the establishment of an authority for the future cannabis and hemp industry here in the Bahamas. That authority will develop policies, guidelines, and regulation of cannabis for medical, scientific, and religious uses. The body will set eligibility standards for licenses, and those licenses will be granted based on citizenship, age, business name, and whether the applicant and has a clean record. Those licenses permit holders to cultivate, manage, and package marijuana. Now, the bill makes no mention of recreational use, but cannabis cards for users are to be issued by a medical practitioner or by the authority or by the Medical Cannabis Committee. Over the years, the Bahamas National Commission on Marijuana has supported the establishment of a cannabis industry. And while former Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Hubert Minnis, said efforts would be made towards decriminalization and the expungement of criminal records related to small amounts of marijuana. Now, meantime, our Corval Pfeiffer had a chance to speak with a leading clergyman who once served as a co-chair on the Bahamas National Commission on Marijuana and is lending his voice in support of making medical marijuana available here in the Bahamas. Bishop Simeon Hall's position on marijuana, one, admittedly he didn't always hold, but after serving on both CARICOM and the Bahamas' commissions on marijuana, he considers himself enlightened and has since become a proponent of legislation that would allow cannabis use for medicinal purposes and as a sacrament for Rastafarians. I'm saying the first thing I think we should do is recognize that marijuana is uh, pervasive throughout our country. Secondly, educate ourselves about it. And thirdly, the medicinal value of it. He readily acknowledges that his position puts him at odds with his fellow clergy. But he believes leaving the status quo unchanged is unchristian, especially when you consider how it both marginalizes and criminalizes young black men. He's also quick to make it clear that he's not promoting the use of marijuana. The young man who got in trouble for a bag of marijuana, how do we restore him and his family? How do we give him, make him right by wiping, if, if, if we could rectify it, if we could fix it, we should wipe the slate clean and he could uh, uh, expunge that, that criminal record and he could work and get a job and go to Miami. At age 77, Bishop Hall has found himself facing medical issues as well, now forced to use dialysis three times per week. He makes no apologies about it. He says that he and his medical team are now researching what uses medical marijuana may have for him. All I'm saying is the church should try to be relevant. Now, that doesn't mean you go along with the, uh, with the marijuana smoker. That's not what we're saying. We're saying be enlightened. On his own change of heart on the issue, Bishop Hall tells his fellow church leaders that there is a lot they too can learn from the Rastafarian community. When Bob Marley came here in, in 90, whenever that was, I was the one who led that the children, to put that in front of our children, was, was poor. I did that. But now I have a greater appreciation for Bob Marley. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corval Pyfram. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.